Hello and welcome to the Wonky Workshop and welcome to I suppose you could call it a vlog or a ramble or something just an update really there's a, a, a lot going on and not necessarily as much content going to be coming out very briefly I've got to try and get back on top of it but I just wanted to let you know what was going on so um, first of all I'm selling my lathe yeah not because I don't want to do wood turning um, but because I've got the opportunity to buy a smaller but more powerful more up-to-date more efficient lathe um, and so I'm selling my larger older lathe I'm gonna put a link in the description if it's not sold by the time I release this video anyway um, so you have the opportunity to buy it you have a, a opportunity to buy a original owned wonky piece of equipment um, actually runs exceptionally well there's nothing wrong with it at all I just wanted something slightly smaller for when I update the workshop which leads me on to that so currently I am tearing down a wooden construction at the end of the garage that was there when we moved in uh, I've just finished ripping that down I might put a picture up on the screen so you can see the state it's in I've got to build it I'm going to build all the walls up and redo all of that insulate it the whole thing um, once I've done that I can then move my hardwood store out there which is behind this wall behind me here this wall behind me isn't actually a supporting wall and um, it just was one that they've thrown in to sort of cut off that section at the end so I'm going to knock this wall down and then push back into that way which will give me an extra two by three meters space at the end of my workshop which will just allow me to organize things better have a better workflow um, and just a lot less mess and a lot less horizontal spaces for dumping things on so that's going on and that's part of the reason why I'm not able to put out for instance the wood recognition videos as frequently and partly why I just I haven't necessarily got access to the, the things that I've done my lathe's taken to bits taken away for sale um, I've piled other things up around I've had to clear out the end section so there's more stuff in here so a lot going on there but um, We've also got a few other exciting things in the pipeline. So an old colleague of mine from Crimson Guitars, Tommy, who runs a channel called IP Guitars, he and I said 18 months ago, two years ago, he already had a YouTube channel. I said I was thinking of starting one and we sort of joked about having a race to a thousand subs. And then this kind of, we both started our channels and we were going along and then we've, we've sort of started talking about this again recently. But we also have pointed out that He's currently just reached about just over 700 subs and I'm at about 450 so it's not too far apart 250 subs but it's far enough apart that if we were to race from here to a thousand you could kind of claim he's got an unfair advantage but I'm up for it I'm up for it so what I'm asking from you is if you're willing to push for this to go ahead it'd be great if you could sub now if you haven't already uh, if you've got any friends who you think are interested in the sort of thing that I do again sub now um, I appreciate this isn't the best time from the point of view of content creation but more is coming and more is coming in the future now the big thing is that this race was going to end it's going to be a competition there was going to be some form of the winner has to do this or the loser has to do this now this hasn't been quite worked out yet exactly what is going to happen so if you could put your thoughts in the uh, comments below that would be great I am also going to put a link to Tommy's channel below now this is kind of scuppering me a bit because he, he makes some great stuff and I think you should watch and I think you should sub to him but I also don't think you should at the moment like maybe wait until we're on the same sort of level um, but hey, just just sub to him anyway. He's a great guy. He's making some making some great stuff. A lot of it is based around guitars and luthery, but there's some woodworking things in there. And you may see the occasional odd familiar face crop up in videos here and there as well. So that's a few things to be going on with. Um, if you've got, I've, I've got a couple of videos that I am going to get out over the next couple of weeks. Um, some people have been posting me things, very nice, very uh, appreciated, entirely unexpected. Uh, I'll put a delivery address below that you can send things to, um, to me, which isn't, isn't my personal address. So if you wanted to send me boxes of things or if you wanted to send me stickers, I haven't got any I can swap with you at the moment, but I am going to get some more printed. Um, all that kind of stuff, totally open for 
Um, and if you want me to do like an unboxing of stuff on the channel, write that on the top of the box, you know, to be unboxed on camera kind of thing, if you want me to be surprised by what's in it. Guys, if it's something that's unpleasant or whatever, I'm clearly not going to release that onto YouTube and uh, probably not going to comment on anything you send me either. So bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, enough of my rambling. I am still alive. I am still producing content. Probably more on Instagram than on here at the moment, so check out that down below as well. Uh, but it will be ramping up, taking a slightly different direction at the moment as I focus on the renovation. Uh, but I have started filming that series already. So take care. I hope you're staying safe. Hope you're able to get into your own workshops. And uh, I'll catch you guys soon.